morning. I'm Kelly from Appalachian Memory Keepers, and in today's episode of Stones and Bones, we're going to the Callaway Cemetery in the Obids community of Ashe County, North Carolina. Let's go. Hey Kelly. Hey Kelly. How are you doing today? Very well, sir. I hope you are. I'm doing very well. Good to see you today. Appreciate you meeting us absolutely, out here. Absolutely, absolutely. So we are at the Callaway Cemetery. We are here at the Callaway Cemetery in the Obids community, uh, South Fork of the New River. So this is one of the older communities in Ashe County. It, it would have been kind of the first place settled as people came up to the top of the Blue Ridge. Yes, that's what we understand. Well, why are we here? I've, I've heard all my life, I mean, I've driven by this road thousands of times and and have heard stories that there's a legend associated here. Yeah, yeah, most people drive by here every day and don't really realize the connection between this area and Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone? Yes. Now I've always heard of Daniel Boone more over towards Watauga, but he has an Ash County connection? Yes, uh, it was said that Daniel Boone had a hunt camp uh, across the river here, not too far, Okay, so the, the South Fork of the New River is right below us here. Yes. His camp was just on the other side. Yes. And so what was the connection? He was connected to a local family in this area? Yes, he's uh, definitely a, a connection with a local family. And uh, the, there is a stone over here that I can tell you a little bit more about that. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay. This is a stone right here. This is one of the most interesting grave markers that I've ever seen. I've been in more than a few cemeteries. It is. It's but, said that the, this stone was found in the river by Dan Boone. Uh, he admired it so much that he marked his campsite with it. Interesting. So he probably found it right over there in the river. And we'll go over there and maybe with the drone take a look at it. Um, but pried it out of the river, marked his hunting camp. So how did it go from the hunting camp to which this is the grave of the patriarch of the Callaway family, which the cemetery is named after? Captain Thomas Callaway. He admired it so much, and after he passed away, it was requested that it be his grave marker. What was the connection between uh, Tom T.C. and uh, Daniel Boone? Tom Callaway came from a huge family, and his brother was Richard Callaway. Richard served with Daniel Boone at the Battle of Boonesboro in Kentucky. Okay, and, and his daughters, along with Boone's daughter, were abducted by the Shawnee up there. That's correct. Records show that uh, they were abducted by the Shawnee, and it was Boone that led the party to, to get them back. And so probably that created a lot of good feelings between, uh, between the two families. It was a lifelong kinship. Callaway settled this part of the of the county and uh, were some of the first settlers here, weren't they? Well, it uh, Tom's wife, Mary, uh, was a baker. Okay. And it is believed that her brother was the first title holder here in this area, as we know Ash County to be today. Right, yeah, because because it's important to note that this wasn't Ash County at that point. It was actually still Wilkes County, correct? This section was actually Wilkes County. Wilkes County. So Kelly, I don't see any markings on this stone. I mean, it's this huge piece and I mean, it's rock solid, so it's gotta go several feet down it's into in the, the ground. ground. It's in the ground. Very Are good. there any markings? We don't see any on the front. However, on the back, there is an inscription of TC. Um, and it's, it's pretty hard to see these days. Uh, do, you, do they do you, did they think that it was carved by his family or at a later date? We believe the inscription was actually carved by Daniel Boone himself. Seriously. Yes. So Daniel Boone's hands were 
actually on this stone and, and, and carved the letters TC into it. It's pretty neat. What a cool piece of history. It is way cool. So another part of this legend is that T.C. Thomas Calloway was not buried in a traditional casket. It is said that after he passed away, the coffin that they used for him was his dugout canoe. And how they did that is they cut the canoe in half and each half of it, one top, one bottom, was his final resting place. This is Elijah's stone. Okay. Uh, Elijah's probably one of his most notably famous sons. What did he do? Wasn't he involved in a lot of politics? He was a, basically a career politician. Records show that in the terms he wasn't el eligible for House of Representatives, he served in the Senate in the following term. Okay. And back and forth for almost 20 years. And he made a lot of money doing that. Apparently so. Um, when he came back to Ash County from Raleigh, uh, he was said to have built the first brick house with real glass windows. Do yes. we know where it was? We believe it to be in the Obeds area here. We don't know 100% sure where it is at. Uh, however, the mantle of the house is believed to be in the Tambui Mansion. The Tambui Mansion, yes, wow. That's the so a lot of people know who Tambui was. He was Ash County's first billionaire. He's considered the father of West Jefferson. So he's got a Callaway connection. This would have been his great grandfather, is that correct? His mother was a Callaway. His mother was a Callaway. And her grave's right over here. It is, and his father. Let's go see it. So we are standing right beside the stone of Tambui's mother, who was Frances Caroline Bowie. Also known as Carrie Bowie. Carrie Bowie. Yes. And she died in 1885. That's correct. And his father's stone is right beside. Tam's dad died eight years earlier. And after Tam's father passed away, Carrie and Tam came back to North Carolina. So she wanted to come back to her family, came back up here. Right. So it's interesting then, if he died in Louisiana, but he has a stone here, is he buried here? We don't know. We don't know. It could be a mystery. So we're standing right now kind of in the original part of the cemetery. I mean, this is where T.C. and his wife and his, uh, the first generation, the second generation of the, of the family was buried. But as we kind of turn and look a little bit here, you can see the transition in the cemetery from these old stones and the names start to change. They go from Callaway to I see a Fa and a Hartsog. What was going on here? Well, we're getting up into the mid to late 1800s. This area was really starting to get populated with other families. Uh, this third and fourth generation of Callaways, <laughs> you know, were having a lot of girls, so they were getting married off. Um, so you'll start seeing different names. Old names. Old names. Old, names old from Ash County hearing names. The names. Some that you'll, you know, are you'll recognize. Yep, and some that have disappeared. That's right, that's some. right. Let's go look at some. Okay. This is a stone of Finley White that I've always found particularly interesting, especially the inscription. As you can read, it says, absent, not dead. This is an interesting stone for a fellow named William Houck. I've never seen the date right there reversed. Have you? This is one I found particularly interesting America Halk, the wife of William, and the inscription on the bottom was just beautiful, I thought. She was the sunshine of our home. So Kelly, this is kind of an interesting stone for David Hartzog. 
What I find really interesting about it was it says he was a soldier in the War of 1812. Right. The 1812, that's kind of like, it's almost the Vietnam of that time. It's kind of the Forgotten War. That's correct. But there's a lot of veterans in this cemetery. Well, yeah, uh, David here married a Callaway, and he was a veteran of the War of 1812. And we do know that we have veterans of at least six wars here. So we've we've seen walking around the French and Indian War, the war, the Revolutionary War, War of 1812, several Civil War soldiers. What else? World War One, World War Two, uh, and Vietnam. In Vietnam, haven't seen any for the Spanish American War. Have not, and <laughs> thankfully we haven't seen any recent ones either. Amen. This is a pretty cool stone for Elijah Thaw. Elijah, we see that name a lot in here. Probably going back to the original Callaway right, name. Right. An incredibly ornate stone. Makes you wonder about who he was, doesn't it? I'm wondering. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, Kelly, I can't thank yeah, you Kelly. enough. Absolutely. I appreciate all the work that you did researching and, and uh, learning all these stories. It's my honor. Sharing them with our audience. I guess it's about time to head to the house, isn't it? Well, if you're ready, I am. I'm ready to eat. Okay. Let's go.